Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from InTheStarsByChrissy.com and welcome to my Ascendant Sign series. So as you go along with me on this video, you will learn the importance of knowing a person's Ascendant Sign. It will tell you more about a person's personality, their attitude, what they actually look like, you know, the most common things that you will find out if a person is an Aries, Ascendant, Taurus Ascendant, those kinds of things. Also, this can tell you how they vibrate their energy. How do they function? How do they act? How do they react? What are, are they interested in? What are the actions they usually innately take? And what is their path in life? What do they believe? Those kinds of things. Now, have you ever wondered why no Aries or Scorpio acts the same way like you know an Aries person A an Aries person B will never act in the same manner and you know some people especially those who um, don't believe in astrology will probably tell you that um, because God created us differently we were made um, in function in a different manner we are all unique beings and yes I do believe in that to a certain extent but I also believe that you know God created us with a formula in mind and that formula is astrology by knowing your sun sign moon sign and ascendant sign the three most important part of a person's chart um, the blending of that energy is what makes us all unique as a whole and by knowing the ascendant is like a big uh, boost of um, improvement to a person's evolution I would say and it's very easy for us to relate to our partners uh, our family or the people that we meet and connect with you know we are not able to question why do they act the way that they act it's more of accepting the fact that they are functioning this way because they have this ascendant or so in their chart so those all of those things are the things that we are going to tackle and it's always um, really a nice thing to learn them and you know if you already know about the basics it's also good to refresh your memory and maybe there are still things that you know maybe you have forgotten or you don't know yet and you might actually find it all out on this video so stay with me okay and without any further ado let's get on with the first sign of the zodiac Aries so this goes if you have your Aries rising Aries ascendant or if you have Aries in your first house Aries is the point of all new beginnings they are the starting point of everything so when you have Aries as your rising sign you will see that a person has prominent features especially with their head their forehead and their eyes it's very you know captivating and sometimes unforgettable as well so um, they have this sexual nature to them that you know people are usually enticed with at the same time um, Aries people Aries rising people have prominent male features in their body regardless if they are a man or a woman they have you know like muscular um, bone structure those kinds of things they're very slim very athletic and love 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 sports and games they love that also it's easy for them to get injured because this is mars we're talking about so sometimes if you're not easily injured they tend to get surgery surgery for something regardless of what it may be they might enter some form of surgery for women sometimes they like you know doing injections or something like that or doing something in their body they are quite obsessed with their shape and their body even though that they they are really slim some Aries people, Aries rising person is going to tell themselves that they're getting fat, um, those kinds of energies, they're fat, they're bubbly, and they don't like that. They want to be fit. Um, that is why they like exercise. They like not just normal exercise though. 
they are quite extreme in terms of their workout routines especially when it comes to um workout like a military workout those kinds of stuff um some aries can be very strict with their diet but for the most part um, i would say that they're more strict with their um workout routines Sometimes they just like to do it. the injects. Um, I don't know what you call it, you know, injects to lose weight or to have a glutathione inject. Anything that deals with some form of blood injects or whatever sessions that there is available. The Aries Rising people usually engage with that as well. They don't really want to get any procedures done with their face very rarely that it happens um, but for the most part it's their body part that becomes of great importance to them also um, I think I mentioned about um, Aries rising people getting into arguments quite easily because they tend to get ahead of themselves again the key word is the head they're they always you know um, going forward impulsively and they get ahead of themselves even with discussions and talks and um, conversations sometimes they don't even know the facts all the facts yet but they just go ahead and say something um, becoming opinionated and sometimes they that leads to some form of misunderstandings and then later on they will try to say sorry and to apologize to you because you know they have confused something that usually happens so sometimes some people don't want to dabble in too much with aries rising people because they they are um very competitive even though that the issue does not really require any competition at all so um yeah there there are those cases so um aries rising people can be very selfish because everything is all about i am this is what i want um and i'm not gonna compromise either way and sometimes they think that they are compromising though it's like i will compromise but it has to be on my terms so if you think about that way it's not even compromising at all they want to do things when it is convenient to them and when they want it not on everyone's term they're not going to make adjustment to someone else they have to do it on their own terms and sometimes if they don't get what they want they can be um quite hard to deal with you know because they are going to do everything that they that they can to achieve something to want something also aries rising people loves to start things aries is you know a sign that has a lot of ideas in place so they have a lot of ideas and they like to be curious about life and anything at all they like to be um they like to think about out of the box sometimes and they want to start things the problem there is that they like starting things but they don't like to maintain it you know they have a hard time to maintain things they have a hard time to reaching the goal and to making things last because all they want is the shortcut <laughs> how to start how to start how to begin um it's like you know um, go for something while the iron is hot uh, but you know it's easily they easily lose interest in things and sometimes even with people as well they have that kind of tendency they have um very strong link to something that's fun you know their fifth house and the ninth house is very prominent to them so traveling learning curiosity is very something that they will dabble um and come across through their life sometimes they easily get pregnant they have a baby have a son most of the time most of the time their first born is going to be a man going to be a boy and yeah 
they always like some form of fun and excitement in their life and without that they become very depressed and sometimes they like to be an advisor like want, they want to, to talk to people to help people and they want to be um, someone that people can um, seek advice on and in my experiences and in my observation sometimes they do give the right um, the right advice but sometimes it's more of self driven it's like it's their own belief to tell you what they think but it's not necessarily um, it's not necessarily the right one so it depends I really think that that depends but um, they really like it when they voice their opinion and when people listen to them that is really what Aries is all about one thing I really envy about Aries rising people is because they do have fast metabolism and that is really something I like about them because you know this is like Mars it's like in constant running in their system they always have this function all through their life so it's like you know even if a person goes a lot older you will see that an Aries rising person um, will look as if they are really really young they have a childlike features in them still intact even when they're probably in their 40s and their 50s uh, you will see them looking younger than usual than the normal you know um, one example I would say is that you know um, for example Japan Japan is a country that um, is ruled by Aries so it's a Mars sign that is why you know um, most of the time you will see the most innovative technologies are all residing in that country you know every time that they do something it becomes really popular and um, that is just an example of Aries and most people most Japan person what do you call it Japan people you know the people that live in Japan um, they have this you know a young factor in them they always look younger and you know a lot of people would say that all Asians are like that I would say no um, there is um, a special significance for Japan people that they really really look m much more younger than their age so and that is also an influence of Aries in their chart so uh, yeah what else did I forget to tell you sometimes though um, they might end up with um, unexpected accidents you know whenever they're driving a car or going somewhere else sometimes you know they because they lack that energy of self-control they lack self-control sometimes they crash and burn you know figuratively or literally those things happen and for the most part my advice for that is that you know that is because they don't have too much outlet so the best way is you know to always 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 do some form of workout that way you can avoid those sudden things that can happen that is because you know it's as if if an Aries rising person is not exercising or it doesn't have any outlet not giving out the energy of the Martian qualities elsewhere it's like everything is building up inside of them until you know um, it becomes an inflammation and it blows up and that is going to be quite difficult for you yourself right so um yeah did I miss out anything else um, uh, I don't think that I have missed out um, since they are ruled by Mars they're quite noisy people so they always like to talk always like to to gossip as well sometimes they do that and they're always interested with things I do notice that Aries rising people tends to have you know um, tends to like uh, reading reading articles about celebrities as well they are easily influenced 
and that is one part wherein they need to be careful of because first of all they lack self-discipline self-control and they're easily influenced sometimes um sometimes okay and when that happens you know they can develop um habits that can be um, not so good for them as a result but but if they are they are learning about something that is good for them it's easily for them to adapt on that as well so um yeah i think i've mentioned everything that i have to uh with when it comes to aries rising people they are really good entrepreneurs as well so and usually they become very successful and very popular at that there are a lot of celebrities that are aries rising that are really really popular and you know once a person becomes very popular especially in a right aries rising person who becomes very popular it's like you know their presence is going to be known all through a whole lot of masses and you know even if they lose their fame um, people will still remember them that kind of um, reminder some of celebrities that i have here with me as an example to tell you guys is rihanna rihanna we all know rihanna right the bone structure and everything like that also rihanna has also moon in aries so imagine that explosive energy and then shakira also has the aries racing heath ledger if you know heath ledger it's like his forehead is like whoa and then kendall jenner is also another one kendall jenner has a really 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 strong um martian qualities she has Air aries as a rising sign and moon sign and then her sun sign is scorpio so imagine that that is why probably a lot of you guys or a lot of people can find kendall jenner very attractive you know it's like you know the impression she gives is very um magnetic it draws people into her Sophie Turner also has this um, Aries and Moon rising sign. So um, yeah, those are just a few samples. And as you all know, the, the people that I've mentioned are very well known. And even though we don't, we might not see them every time into articles or news or television. Um, just mentioning their name can really pop up something in our head especially for me i'm not even an enthusiast in, when it comes to celebrities like i don't really check in with the latest news about what's happening to celebrities but even i would know the list even i know them you know it's like even though i saw them once or twice i can still remember them that okay i know that person i've seen it i know that person is popular there is that distinct quality to them that makes them really really stand out so um yeah another thing that i forgot to mention is that you know aries likes intensity so when it comes to relationships they can really um get attracted to people that give them the same qualities like for example um they tend to get attracted with scorpio people as well they can they they tend to be attracted with soulmate and twin flame relationships all at the same time because of that chemistry that intensity that is around that energy so and most of and on a negative side they can be quite um attracted to um people that they cannot have you know i'm not saying all Aries rising sign are like that but it happens because they like the challenge they tend to they tend to get challenged and they love that and you know because Aries people likes games they like to be the winner I mean who likes games of not winning it they like to win it and that is why you know when they are challenged by someone 
they can really get hung up with that person, hung up with that energy until they dominate it. That kind of thing. So um yeah, this is it for my reading. Well, not reading my my insights on the Aries rising people, and I'll see you guys on my next video with Taurus.